What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. And this is another Timeless 10 video, my second one I am reacting to, as you guys know. Uh, not too long ago, a few days ago, I reacted to uh, the death of a little brother, and that one really hit home for me because I've had that experience in my life as well. So it was very relatable. And my boy Nate did tell me I should start reacting to Timeless 10 because he felt like I can relate to this content. I ain't gonna lie, I can't relate to this title though, okay? But we gonna check it out. This one is called Doing Coke, My my Scariest College Experience. Like, look, I don't condone drugs or anything. And the only drug I've ever done is marijuana. I've never done anything else. I would never pop pills. I would never shoot nothing in my veins. I would never do anything. Say no to drugs, kids. Marijuana is legal in 90% of the United States, okay? That, that's okay. That's an okay drug to use. It, it helps you in its medical use and all of these other things, okay? I don't need to get into full details about it. But Coke, absolutely not. The only Coke I'm doing is a cold one out the fridge, okay? Let's check this video out, man. The original one will always be in the description down below. And if you guys would like to follow me on my other channel, I will greatly appreciate that. And make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on as well. That way you do not miss any of the uploads, baby. And let's dive into Timeless Tim, my scariest college experience. Then I've got to the stop sign. I look behind Man, me. I know y'all, when, when the lights come on behind you when you driving, boy, your heart stop, especially being a brother. Especially when you got this skin color right here, your heart stop, no matter if you're innocent or not. It's lit that these videos are animated too. They do really good with these. See, growing up, two things happen after graduating high school: you get to go to college or get a job. Not the Not Ghostbusters college, theme. You get a better education, then a better job, hey. and ultimately a hey. higher salary. <laughs> uh, you give. I started with eighty thousand. I have been paying for ten years. I have paid one hundred and twenty thousand, mm. and I still owe seventy six. How the. Like, <laughs> Shawty starts spazzing. I'll tell you who, yo, mama. That's right, my guy. See, our parents failed us. They preach graduate high school, go to college, get a prestigious job, and then you can live the American dream. See, more like the American nightmare. Now it's for that you. Part. I've done it all. I've graduated college. He got some to tough posters in his wall. And on his walls. And job became successful on YouTube. Truly lived multiple lives. See, that's what makes me different. See, I'm no average YouTuber. Oh, no, 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 my guy. See, I always get the damn time when you go around out of stores, which is weird because <laughs> I'm still living. Every day of your life is a page written in your story. But as for your boy, I'm going to take you to the trenches. And that he said to the trenches. This story begins. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my college year. So it was my freshman year in college. Now going to college could be one of the greatest feelings in the world. It's your first time away from home. No more rules, no more curfews. No one's breathing over your neck. I, I, I was fortunate enough to go to school in the same city I grew up in, so. Like, like that ass. You want to sleep through a whole lecture? Not a problem, my guy. The professor can't do sh You want to ditch class? Guess what, my boy? They're not going to stop you. Well, there's, you know, the whole failing all your classes thing, but that's not the point. Now, every weekend, our school had multiple parties. You've got the regular parties, the raves, the nightclubs, and damn, there's the frat parties. I'm talking under. Frat parties are probably the best out of all of them. And unfortunately, the <laughs> <downside> <laughs> Hey, look, 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 look. I ain't going to lie. When I was younger and I was around that age, I tried doing stuff in the car before. I'm just too tall, bro. Like I can't, I can't be in the car and have a shorty just sitting on my lap and shit. Like that, like it's not happening, bro. Like I, I maybe did it once or twice. I mean, I'm six five. My legs is, my knees is on the dashboard. Like it's not, it, it's very uncomfortable for me. So that is an experience that I never really had a good experience trying as well. Hey, we all different. So am I doing with my roomie? That's for the short kings, you feel me? That's tonight. Not for the uninformed. Oh, shit. party is iconic and the most stereotypical party that ever. I would have been acting a fool up in this mama. Trust me. You don't miss it. All right, let me see. Let me see. I'm ready to show my So we get to the party, and this joint was packed. Hey. Damn, Jordan. He didn't say the party was going to be like this. This shit be bopping. I ain't going to lie. Bro, number one, never drink anything you didn't pour. So Another thing, uh, hey, hey, he just said he just said a good like that. That is a good lesson right there for the youngins. Okay, never drink anything you didn't 
poor, okay? I know I know shit that has happened to people from that. I've never really been a super party or anything, and I just never I, I'm I've already had the mindset uh, even when I was young, I don't trust anything. So I never did anything stupid like that. But um I didn't even drink alcohol until I was 21, guys. So like I literally waited. I, I literally waited until I was 21. I was a goody goody uh two shoes, whatever you want to call it, okay? Kitchen, like, open up somebody. And the club Jesus. I went to for my birthday was called YOLO. Now it goes by. Your boy's <laughs> for my 21st birthday, they had Taylor Swift yes. on in that oh, bitch. I was in there lit. Oh, <laughs> That's when Taylor Swift oh, was popping. <laughs> so I get to the downstairs bathroom, check the door, but the door was locked. Damn, I feel like throwing up. Oh, upstairs. Mm. Now, upstairs was the VIP area, and according to the rules, no one was allowed to enter without permission. So I get upstairs, get to the first door. Damn. My man's putting in work. So, move to the next door. Open it, look in. That's where my world changed. First of all, let me explain. See how I grew up. Black part is the other one. Of course, it's the white dude in that bit, too. Maybe a few fights, but that's about it. They lit right now. Hold up. Oh, shit. What the hell? So this was my first time. I would never. You could never catch me in something like that. He couldn't even pay me enough to be in something like this, bro. You must see. Hell no. We alcohol, all types of shit. But then I saw it. My first time seeing the white dust. Who let you in here? I was just about to. <laughs> I was just about to say, where's that fucking blow? <laughs> man's face, I could tell something was off. A oh, white guy oh, with a mixed girl. Bathroom. Close the damn door. Different. Before leaving he got swag. What's up? Yo, Tim, what's taking so long? Tim, is that? Hey, get it down. Yo, y'all want to try it? What you think, Tim? Should we? Now, this is where temptation kicks Don't fall in. for peer I'll pressure. What, boys, <laughs> if you do it, I'll do anything. Damn. <laughs> I wonder what it feels like. Bro, number two. Never take anything from anyone at any party, especially if you don't know what it contains. Quick flashback. See, before leaving for college, I ain't gonna lie, the college they went to, every talk. bitch okay, was in that so motherfucking thing. Like, college. damn. I need you to listen to me very carefully. You're now an adult, and I need you to be responsible. I know, Dad. I'm serious. College has a lot of distractions, and if you're not careful, the consequences could hurt you for the rest of your life. See, back mm. in my father's days, a young college kid known as Len Bias died from an overdose. Is that Michael Jordan? <laughs> you have to understand, this kid was supposed to be better than Michael Jordan. The oh, the fucking heard, goat. The man was supposed to be the goat, but all it took was for one bad decision that cost him his life. See, coke, not soda kids, the other coke, is a stimulant that makes you feel like you have more energy. Now, I'm not one to judge. I understand the pressures of college. You got schoolwork, work, work, parties, athletes, reasons why coke <laughs> And then Shoddy was in the elevator twerking upside down. Jeez. an overloaded schedule. See, this is the dark side of college no one talks about. And as of today, 37% of college kids have admitted to using coke. And that's just coke. Then there's the pills, the weed, the alcohol, and many other drugs. So I look deep and homie thought about my father's words and told this n nah i'm good Tim, you sure it's free come on dog shorty was about to get butt naked so <laughs> now we got a problem your boy dog is still to drop my way back to the dorm i can barely see come on tim get it together okay it's only a five minute drive so i figured effing what could go wrong so i start driving Have you ever driven wasted? Mm -hmm. My ass was going stupid slow. <laughs> Heck, dude. Bro, bro, this is so funny because, like, in real life, police will pull you over. If you're driving too slow on the highway, you will get pulled over, bro. Like, that's not even a joke. So, like, the fact that you. <laughs> that's hectic, bro. Hell nah. Hell nah. Your heart drop anytime this happened, boy. Especially being black. Good morning, sir. Do you know why I stopped you? No, officer. You were driving too slow. See? Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> officer. I didn't know I was breaking the slowest limit. Sir, are you intoxicated? No. Step out the car. So I get out the car. I'm going to need you to say the alphabet backwards. What? What? I can't do that. Oh, I'm hell no. Nah. Oh, okay. Z? I was just about to do it. Z, Y, X, V. Z Y X V U T P. Am I getting it right? 
Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I probably just fucked up like crazy. Y, <laughs> X, um, C, E, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. We have an 1150 I guess today's your lucky day, kid. Drive home carefully. So the cop leaves. Wow. And barely made my way to the door. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a miracle. Crazy? The same party that I just left saved my butt from going to jail. And from that day forward, I never went back to that frat party. So, so he moral of the story. Yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. See, it's easy to dodge our responsibility, but we cannot dodge the consequences of dodging our responsibilities. Facts. Hey, look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Sheesh. That's crazy. The party saved his life. He ended up not even doing any of the drugs. So he he already he already um that that was his blessing. His blessing was get like his the the reason like you know everything happens for a reason. God probably blessed him in that story in that situation right there at that time to get away and go home because he ultimately made the adult decision to say no to the things that those people were doing. Even though he was tempted and turned on and horny because an old girl has some fat everything, okay? She had it all and he turned it down, bro. It takes, it takes a strong man to be able to do that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Original video will always be in the description down below and while you guys are down there, if you like to follow me on my other channel, I will greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for the continued support, man. I love you guys and appreciate y'all so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. We are out, baby. Peace.